the spinning Beyblade of Leak. To counter him, pick someone like Teemo who can blind him exactly when he's about to silence you and it becomes very obvious very easily. Nar can poke him from days and prevent him from getting near, which he needs to, and Bantheon can do exactly the same thing poke-wise and stun him when he starts to spin. Darius for his stacking damage, Yorick for his easily placed wall, and Trundle for his ultimate and pillar make other good counters too. Garen's passive allows him to regenerate missing health when he hasn't taken non-minion damage for a while and will double the healing when he gets below a certain health percentage. His Q grants him movement speed and will make his next auto silence the enemy. His W passively grants him tank stats every time he kills a unit and when activated will reduce the damage taken by 60% for 0.75 seconds and drop to 30% after that amount for the remainder of the duration. His U will make him start spinning for 3 seconds. If enemies get hit 4 times, then he will reduce their armor by 25%. Finally, his ultimate passively makes the enemy with the most kills the villain of the game and he will deal 1% of maximum health true damage on hit. When activated, he will call down a giant sword that deals magic damage to regular targets and true damage to the villain. There's two types of Garen's, the tanky one and the damage one. Both of them are quite annoying, but the fact that his spinning can critically strike makes the damage one quite the menace even if a bit squishy. His kit is quite simple, so just play around it. As for spells, he'll either take teleport, which is the most likely one, or ignite when he's feeling confident and wants to win lane fast. You should take teleport either way if you're playing in the top lane, and if he goes for ignite, play extra safe in the beginning and counter his spell by going back, coming back to lane quickly and push him out. As for power spikes, he's a mid game monster, can also be a lane bully but falls off a bit in the late game. Obviously, all this will depend on what he's building and his playstyle. Level 2 with just his silence and spin is enough to bring your health down by quite a bit, but he becomes a real nuisance when he finishes his core, which is most likely a black lever and a dead man's blade. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, he will show you when he's about to engage by lighting up his blade, his E cannot be interrupted by CC, and his ultimate will deal true damage to you if you're the villain of the game. Ultimately, have fun doing it.